Welcome everyone, let's transfer data from our old iPhone to our new Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 4. So real quick, if you are on the setup screen and you're currently at the copy apps and data stage, uh, just skip about a minute into this video. However, if you've already set up your phone like I have, you're going to open up the Google Play Store and you just want to search up for the Samsung Smart uh, Switch mobile app. Download this one if it hasn't been downloaded. If you have the option to update, update this app to the latest version. Now we're going to tap on open. We're going to tap on receive data and we'll tap on iPhone or iPad. So at this stage, if you were on the setup screen and you tapped on next, you will see the exact same screen as I do. So you can follow the steps like everyone else. Okay, so the next step is you're going to connect your iPhone to your Samsung Z Flip 4. So you insert one end of the charger into the iPhone and then the other end into the Z Flip 4. Now, in my case, my iPhone charger is USB type A. So I do need to get an adapter which converts USB type A into USB type C. Some iPhone chargers just are USB C, so you'll be good to go. If they aren't, then you will need to get an adapter. I'll have the best price for one in the description. So once it's connected, it's going to say connecting to transfer your data. Now on the iPhone itself, it says trust this computer. But real quick, if you're having issues and you don't see this screen here, check your iPhone, then just switch the cable sides around, okay, until things work. And do the same for the iPhone and the Z Flip 4. Once you trust the connection, we can tap on next. And now it's going to search for files and data to transfer from our old iPhone to our new Samsung. So you're going to see, select data to transfer. By default, everything is selected. Calls and contacts, messages, apps, data from the apps, etc. Just scroll down, okay? And then you have the option to transfer right here. If you don't want something to be transferred, you can just tap on a tick to untick the option. And then from there, when you tap on transfer, you just need to wait for the process to complete. Just leave your devices as they are. You don't need to do anything on your end, okay? Just allow the transfer to finish. And with that being said, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.